Hello my friends, welcome back to Anna's Mobile Home Life and if you're new, welcome. In today's video, it's just going to be a hangout with me. Uh, it is almost 8 a.m. Monday morning. Happy Monday to all. I hope your day is starting out well. Uh, and I have been feeling hungry this morning, so I decided to make some French toast. So I figured I'd share that with you to start the day. So I'm going to turn you around and we'll get started with breakfast. All right, I got my electric skillet heating up. I have some butter here. I'm just going to add some butter. To the skillet while that's melting I have my bowl here this was a gift from friend mail the storage container so I'll be using that to mix the egg in I'll use two eggs. I'm gonna add a little bit of milk. Let me get the milk out. Okay. I usually just add a little bit. We're going to mix that up. The butter is melting. I have some bread here that I'm going to try to use up. We're going to add some to the egg, soak it up, coat the bread. Add it to the pan. I think all these end pieces and stuff are fine for French toast. That's usually what I try to do. So we're going to get these coated. I am really hungry today. All I had yesterday was a very small bowl of Raisin Bran. Okay. I already had some coffee. As you all know, I'm up all crazy hours. So, right now I'm coffeeed out. I had enough. One cup. I used to drink two or three cups in the morning. I can only handle one cup if I even drink a full cup. I hope you're all doing good today. The weather here is going to be... In the mid 70s but it's going to be clouds all day and stormy it said a uh, chance of thunderstorms rain uh, I'm wearing a long sleeve shirt it's I've been feeling chilly so we'll see how the day goes with the weather We're also going to see where this video goes. I'll probably get some dishes done in the video. Do some tidying up. And we'll go from there. I just wanted to thank you all for clicking on my videos and watching. 
It is greatly appreciated. So I'm going to get a plate out. Sorry about the noise. should be done soon. That is what it looks like. Just brown it a little bit more. Perfect. So I'm going to plate it up. Get this unplugged. I have some original syrup. I'm gonna add that. There we go, there is breakfast. So I'm gonna sit down, enjoy my breakfast, and I will be back. Okay, my friends, breakfast is over. It was very good, I enjoyed it. Now it's time to clean up the dishes. I have dishes in here that I didn't do. Uh, some dishes on the counter. The skillet needs to be washed. So I will play some music and we will clean up these dishes.
Now it's time to get all of the dishes rinsed. The dishes are done. I'm going to keep them in there for a while. Let them drip dry. My sink is nice and clean. As you can see, I'm using my hand soap and dish soap dispensers. Counters tidied up. I also wanted to show you, I have my butterfly curtains up. Thank you so much. It brightens up my kitchen tremendously, guys. I love them. Thank you, thank you. Also, the butterfly battery-operated candles. I love them in the window. They go with the curtains. Let me see if I could get some more brightness. I hope this is a little better so you could see the curtains and the candles in the window. 
I'm enjoying using all the new items. I am so blessed. With that said, next coming up in this video, I am going to make something out of that ground beef that I had defrosted in the refrigerator. So I'll be back shortly. Okay, I am back. I am going to make the ground beef recipe. I am going to call it beef and cheddar biscuit casserole bake. Okay. First, I have a pound of ground beef. It's thawed out. I'm going to get that open. And we are going to get it in the pan, in the skillet. I have my meat chopper, love it, we're going to get this ground a little bit, I know some of you don't like that. It's just what I do. I've been doing it all my life. I'm pretty sure. So. All right, I'm gonna add some garlic powder. I'm gonna add some organic parsley. Salt. Pepper. And we're going to continue to brown this. Get all those seasonings in there. Mix through thoroughly. what it's looking like. Starting to brown nicely. I'm going to have to drain this. Looks like there's a lot of grease from it. There we go. All right, I will come back once it's browned fully and drained. 
Okay, it's all drained. I returned it to the pan. Now I'm going to add some Sweet Baby Ray's Honey Barbecue Sauce. I hope I have enough. Let's see how that is. I'm just going to get a spoon now. The oven is preheated. It's all ready to 375. This is what it looks like so far. I'm going to add a little more barbecue. This is what we got going on. Smells delicious. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn it off. I have this lovely baking dish from Friend Mail. This is the first time I'm using it. So I'm going to add the meat mixture right in the pan. Okay. I'm going to even it out. I'm just going to squirt a little more barbecue across the top so it melts in. Okay. I have some Vermont Extra Sharp White Cheddar I'm going to be using. I'm going to get that open. I am going to be using my new cheese grater. Thank you so much. I love it. So I'm going to grate some of the cheese. This cheese is so good. See how much we got. It goes right into a container there. All right. I'm just going to put some on top of the meat mixture.
There we go. I got a little mess there. All right. I have some Grand's Southern Home Style Biscuits. I even got it on the fridge. Look at this. I'm such a mess, guys. So we're going to get these open. My hands are clean. I'm just going to flatten them a little bit. Press them down in your hand or with a rolling pin. And I'm going to layer it on top. I'm probably not going to use all of them, but I could use them for breakfast. I'll put them in a Ziploc. be using four of them. Approximately. Of course, you can make a bigger batch and use more biscuits. That is what it looks like. I'm going to get it in the oven and I will come back when it's ready. Okay, my friends, it is ready. It looks delicious. It is still very hot. I'm going to set you up and we're going to plate it up and give it a try. Okay, let's see if we can get this out of here. Look at that, guys. There's cheese in there. I'm going to add the extra meat that's on the bottom. Yum. It's going to be very hot, so we're going to try to taste it. I'm going to get a fork. We are going to cut into it. Make sure we get some of that cheese and the barbecue, ground beef. Look at that, guys. Yum. Don't mind my shirt. I don't know what I got on it, but okay. Very hot. All right, look at that. I was gonna add peas and carrots, frozen peas and carrots to it. I totally forgot. So I'm just gonna have it like this. So here we go. Mmm.
Guys, it is so, so good. You could add whatever you want to it also. I'm going to give it another try. Can't help it. It is so good. It is delicious. The tanginess of the barbecue sauce. This is the first time I've made this. It would be a little better with some vegetables in there, peas and carrots. You could add onion. All different things you can add and make it your own. So I'm going to end the video here. I hope you enjoyed watching. I love each and every one of you, and I will see you next time.